McGee Women's Research Institute and the University of Louisville are working on a COVID treatment. Dr. Maria Simber reports they're hoping that a nasal spray will be effective against the virus. Could a nasal spray prevent infection with coronavirus? In collaboration between the University of Louisville, the University of Pittsburgh, and McGee Women's Research Institute, researchers are working on the possibility. The active ingredient is a protein called Q. Griffithson. It's extracted from tobacco plants and algae. It can attach to coronavirus, so the virus can't infect healthy cells. In lab tests with lung tissue, the protein kept the novel coronavirus from making copies of itself. Which indicates to us that it has good potential for being used as a, a top antiviral. It was originally developed to potentially prevent other infections. Most of our activities over the last 10 years have been towards developing this product for anti-HIV activity, although we have um, dabbled in, with, in, in other areas with other viruses. In animal studies, Q. Griffithson worked against Ebola, hepatitis, MERS, SARS, and other viruses. A nasal spray would meet the coronavirus where it enters the body, the nose and mouth. It could be used by healthcare workers and emergency personnel, or in people who wouldn't respond well to vaccines. The researchers have a prototype. Our goal is to, to do a clinical trial in the fall this year, and I, I think that's achievable. This would be a randomized, placebo-controlled trial of 45 people. The first goal is to make sure the spray is safe and well-tolerated, but the researchers will also be checking the volunteers to see if the spray prevents the virus from copying itself inside cells. In Oakland, I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA News.